Good afternoon traders, it's Bill Baruch with Blue Line Futures and it's your midday market minutes. We neutralized our bullish bias in equities, but this is the move we've been waiting for all week. Uh, obviously we were a little uncertain, Amazon was down 6% ahead of the open. The market profile had stalled with that 3008 in the S&P as well as 7950 in the NASDAQ. We took a more cautious approach coming in today, but when the volume picked up here on the open, obviously there was some move to go. And this is what we've been waiting for uh, all week long as we talked about it. The NASDAQ had a trendline resistance from the record highs. We moved out about above that decisively now. There's some resistance pockets, 8037, 8051, 8072, you know, run up to those record highs. but. This paints a path to least resistance, and what we've been talking about all week, all the way out to 81.50. And same thing with the S&P. You have resistance at the record highs, 30.27 to 30.32. That's a major three-star resistance, but really this paints a path to least least resistance up to 3050. Uh, so right now we close up here, we close above these trends line, trend lines decisively in each, then we're going to see this thing elevate. So keep an eye on that. Uh, crude oil is, is holding well too. There was a nice little fallback 5560, but it was bought pretty quickly. Um, a lot of overhead resistance. What matters today is where this thing closes for now. Broadly better risk sentiment across the board is lifting things. And really what's driving that? You're hearing comments coming out of, out of the White House that U.S. and China, positive trade talks. They're moving close to a phase one deal. Same stuff we've been hearing ahead of the weekends uh, for the last several months. It's lifting sentiment. So uh, let's see if that follows through over the weekend. And, and when things come out of the weekend, are we as upbeat as we were today? Uh, we're still cautious, but again, uh, cautiously optimistic in stocks. However, we are uh, bearish we're thinking that there is a lot of value up here in the crude oil, so keep an eye on that. And then gold, very disappointing session, ran into some resistance, got out above some trend line resistance, but stalled. You're seeing treasury yields pick up here in this risk on move, uh, and then gold is, is just taking a hit here hard uh, back below those trend lines, and this is a very disappointing move in gold. Uh, what you don't want to see today is a move below 1500 because that could really pick up speed heading into Monday. Uh, you want to see this hold out above 1505 just to even cling on, on, on reducing the damage from today's reversal. Give us a call though. We're here to help with anything on the board. 312-278-0500.